The next topic that we will discuss is telework coding, both by coding it into the employee's schedule as well as the option to put it directly onto the employee's timesheet. For the sake of time, I've already entered into Emily employee's schedule and I've already started the process of building the schedule of a Monday through Friday, 7 to 3.30. Now, let's say that this employee teleworks every Monday and every Friday. If an employee teleworks the same days, pay period after pay period, you would want to build that into their permanent schedule because that is the employee's permanent telework days. Now, after you insert the employee's tour, which we've already done in this example, you then have the telework code drop-down box available for each day that you have inserted a tour of duty. Now, when we drop the telework code drop-down box, there are more options than there used to be. In the past, it was just telework regular, recess time, telework medical, and then one coding for telework situational ad hoc. That one telework situational ad hoc coding has now been expanded to the telework weather emergency all the way down to the TS other two T TBD by VA. Those are all of the categories that now encompass that telework ad hoc situational. Now because it is situational, you would not build that into a, an employee's permanent schedule, which is why we would select the telework regular on our Mondays and Fridays for our Emily employee. Now you could run into a situation where an employee has had something happen medically and they've been approved to telework for possibly, let's say for example, three months. In a situation like that, you would build a temporary schedule and as opposed to the telework regular, you would code that telework medical on each day that that employee is going to be home teleworking. Again, that is something that would be dictated down to you as the timekeeper from your supervisor, so that's not something that you would ever have to guess at. I'm going to go ahead and finish this example out with our telework regular on our Mondays and Fridays and I then scroll to the bottom and submit. We have the blue text of success telling us that we have successfully submitted the work schedule for Emily employee. Now I'm going to go back to our main menu. I'm going to go in to select employees and I will narrow this down to the current pay period and search. Let's now take a look at Emily employees timesheet to see exactly how this telework appears. And here again, we have our Emily employee. So we'll go into their timesheet. And at the bottom, you can see we have their schedule. Now, if you hover over the days where you've coded telework, you see it will tell you telework code TW regular. Now, if I hover on Tuesday, notice the telework code says none because we did not build telework into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. When the timekeeper applied the tour on Monday, it automatically posted this TW telework regular because the timekeeper built it into the employee's schedule. Now let's say for example on Thursday the 23rd that the employee is going to situationally telework. The timekeeper will click on that day and apply tour just like they would any other day. But in this environmental hazard other code drop down box the timekeeper will now pick the correct telework ad hoc situational scenario and we scroll all the way down to the bottom and we again see our telework regular all the way down to telework medical. Now when we are putting it directly onto the timesheet, this is the opposite of building it into the schedule and we would only want to be selecting some sort of TS telework situational ad hoc because once again, if it's regular telework, you really need to be building that into the schedule. So we'll say that for this situation, the employee had some sort of car issue, their supervisor approved them to telework. So we'll put transportation disruption on that day. We'll save it and there we go. We have to manually do that. Now let me again show you when it's built into the schedule, how it automatically populates. I'll click on Friday. I will apply tour. And because we built Monday and Friday into the schedule as telework regular, the timekeeper does not have to do anything extra to get that telework regular on the schedule. When they apply the tour, it automatically populates it to the employee's timesheet. So again, one more example of how to get the ad hoc situational. We'll click on the day and apply tour. 
we now have our regular time on there. For the ad hoc situational, we'll go to the environmental hazard other code drop down. We'll go all the way down to the bottom and we will pick the appropriate TS reason. This time we can just say non-medical appointment event training and save. And those are our options for telework on our schedules and on our employees' timesheets. We'll go once more back to our timekeeper main menu.